What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today you guys have been asking me over and over to get you guys more ways to make extra stubs in MLB The Show. So today we're going to be talking about the top 5 ways to make extra stubs in MLB The Show. These will not be in any specific order but all should be a viable way to make extra stubs for either packs or diamonds in the game. So let's begin. Also, before we begin, make sure you guys hit that sub button and turn on post notifications to never miss a video. So now that you guys have sub, thank you guys so much for subbing. And if you guys could also leave a like down below, guys, it would help this video out and would help support me for my future videos. So number one on the list, guys, obviously a lot of you guys probably already do this, but it's without a doubt one of the best ways to make extra stubs in the game, and that is the market flip. So if you guys already didn't know, there's a ton of videos out on YouTube how to do the market, but we're going to do a quick rundown of a market flip right here so let's take let's take greg holland since he has a bigger split on his buy now and sell now that's what you want to look at here guys the buy now and sell now split and remember the market takes 10 percent of every sale so you have to calculate what 10 percent is from the buy now which is 81 or whatever you sell it at and see if it's profitable enough to flip so greg holland would actually be a good flip right here what i would actually do right here is take the 10% from the 81k which would be around 8,000 stubs and just subtract that from the 81k which will leave us at about 73k so we would actually get a 4,000 stub profit if we were able to flip Greg Holland obviously this takes a lot of patience guys obviously you got to wait for it to sell and you got to wait for it to buy so but what you want to do is go ahead take the buy create bar buy order and put it in for the lowest possible amount so 69800 is the sell now price so what you want to do is put a buy order in for 69801 and that will give you the lowest price possible to get this greg holland and once that does fill and you get the card you go ahead and sell it for the sell now for the highest price possible or lowest price possible for buyers at 80,999 since it is at 81,000 right now and that should give you a 4k profit right there you just always have to remember about the 10 percent that the market takes so now moving on next to our list number two on the list is selling from packs everyone opens packs and everyone just stashes everything away that they don't want but you guys don't realize some of these cards that you pull actually have really good value even a lot of the silvers and bronze have really good value too and even if you have duplicates you can even quick sell these for a good profit but before quick selling guys make sure you guys check out the prices because some of these silvers are amazing the best way to do this is just to go into the community market and filter through so like if you're gonna want to go back and sell your bronze filter through the, the bronze and see what is selling so a lot of these bronze cards can go for uh, almost 200 stubs each so make sure you guys go back double check what you guys pull some of the souvenirs are amazing too even the silver apparel guys look at this marlin's hat 2000 you guys might not even know these are worth a lot so go back check out these cards that you pulled from your packs and go ahead and sell them if you don't need them some of these you guys need for programs and whatnot but for the sake of the video and making stubs go ahead and sell them moving on to number three a more skill based money making way obviously if you're better at the game than most you can go ahead and head into a battle royale draft and start drafting the best team possible so you guys can get those gold and diamond rewards for 12 wins you get a diamond reward 12 and all will get you an extra diamond exclusive which are very very expensive so if you're a top tier player this is probably one of the best ways to make extra stubs in the game the next place to look at is ranked seasons obviously all you have to do is play and you're gonna be able to get rewards for this may season you get a diamond and a gold and a silver and 3,000 stubs for championship series. Now you move on to the World Series, you also get the Darren Erstad, the Diamond, five souvenir packs, 4K in stubs, and a live series gold player also, guys. So rank seasons is actually a very, very good way to make extra stubs also. You just have to put the time in to get those rewards. And lastly, for this for this topic, we have the events, guys. Events also come out with very, very, very good rewards, and the events have gotten so much easier from 2017. Now, these games could be three innings, six innings, or nine innings, and the top prize is a diamond. 
So if we look at the prizes from before, we have the John Lesser, which which hovered around 25k for a while. Now it is up to a 14k, but that is still a 14k profit. John Lesser was a three inning game, and you only had to I think finish 25 or 30 games to get the John Lesser. So 15k for John Lesser. I sold mine right away for 25k and was able to get a quick free 25k. Number four on our list. Now I have videos on this, and I try to help you guys out to choose who you to choose which players to buy but this one is investing in players in real life and how they're doing currently in the MLB so in basically investing in players you guys think that are going to be upgraded a very good example is Luis Severino and Justin Verlander so both these cards were gold earlier in the season around 3,000 stubs and if you got them early and very often you would have more than doubled your stubs for both of these cards right now it looks like they are updating rosters every other week and like i said i have videos coming out on these roster upgrade predictions so if you guys want to check those out in the future don't forget to leave a sub and a like on this video this is a very very good way to make a lot of stubs really fast and it's very easy to go on google and check out which players are doing well in the MLB and which players will get an update remember guys not everyone can go gold not everyone can go diamond so it's only the best of the best right now that will get these upgrades just a little tip guys Garrett Cole will be diamond in the next couple roster updates so stock up on Garrett Cole right now guys you saw Luis Severino's price you saw Justin Verlander's price Garrett Cole is cheap right now and the last number five on our list guys we have the exchanges we have the silver to gold exchanges bronze to silver and these are kind of a reach to make a profit on but then you have the likes of the silver jersey exchange and gold jersey exchanges guys and what you need to do for this is exchange souvenirs and you will get five jerseys which in turn you go ahead and sell in the market these jerseys can go anywhere from 200 to 1000 stubs depending on the jersey so you guys can already see where you guys can make your profit from this the Braves Jersey goes for at least 372 stubs and a lot of the souvenirs to exchange are very cheap this is one of those where you go to bed make your buy orders for cheap souvenirs to trade in wake up in the morning and do the exchanges guys I would stay away from the jumbo packs I say just stick with the gold silver Jersey exchanges and the bronze and gold player exchanges but the bronze and gold player exchanges or the silver and gold player exchanges are probably more luck based so stick with the silver and gold jerseys and you're gonna make some extra stub guys so if you enjoyed today and if it helped you out just a little bit leave a like down below let me know in the comment section below which one of these five you guys use don't forget to sub guys because we will get you guys more tips and tricks for MLB the show in the future so again thank you guys so much for watching today i hope you guys enjoyed and as always we'll catch you in the next one